into darkness among the gusty trees. The wind was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees. Over the red and the moonlight, over the purple moon, and a highwayman come riding, 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 riding up to the old end door. She crashes and crashes into the dark yard. He taps with his whip on the shutters, but all is locked and barred. He whistles a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there but Bess, the landlord's daughter, the landlord's black eyed daughter, plaiting a dark red love knot into her own black hair. One kiss, my bunny sweetheart, cause I'm at the prize tonight. And I'll be back with the yellow gold before the morning light. But if they press me sharply and carry me through the day, then look for me by moonlight, watch for me by moonlight, and I'll come to thee by moonlight, though hell should bar the way. in the morning, and he did not come at noon, but after the tawny sunset, before the rise of the moon, when the road is a gypsy's ribbon, over the purple moor, a red coat troop come marching, marching, King George's men came marching, marching up to the old inn. For well, they said not a word to the landlord, they drank his ale instead, but they grabbed his daughter and bound her to the foot of her narrow bed. Then two of them knelt at her casement, with muskets at their side. There was death at every window. There was hell at one dark window. Because Bess could see through her casement, the road that he would ride. But well, they bound her up to attention, with many a sniggering jest. They bound a musket beside her, with a muzzle at her breast. <laughs> Keep good watch, and they kissed her. But she heard her dead man say, Look for me by moonlight, I'll come to thee by moonlight, I'll come to thee by moonlight, no hell should bar the way. Well, she wetched her hands behind her, but all the knots they held good. She wetched her hands till her fingers were wet with sweat or blood. She wretched and she writhed in the moonlight, and hours crawled by like years, till now, on the stroke of midnight, the tip of one finger touched it. The trigger at least was her. <laughs> trot, trot, trot in the distance. <laughs> the hoosops lean clear. Trot, trot, trot in the distance, were they deaf? that they did not hear. Over the foot of the mountain and over the brow of the hill, the highwayman come riding, riding. The red coats took to their climbing and she stood up straight and still. Trot, trot in the frosty silence. Trot, trot in the echoing night. Nearer, he came and nearer. Her face was like a light. Her eyes grew wide for a moment and she took one last deep breath. And then her fingers moved in the moonlight. Her musket shattered the moonlight shattered her breasts in the moonlight and warned him with her death. <laughs> and still on a winter's night they say when the wind is in the trees, when the moon is a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas, when the road is a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, a highwayman comes riding, riding up to the old indoor. <laughs> hey.